All right, so now we're back to the uh, second part of the video. We had to stop for for something real quick. So anyway, so we already undo um, our fitting line, okay? All right, you can have the option whether or not you want to replace your fitting line or you want to, you know, reuse it. But the fact that, I mean, the best thing to replace it. So if you're doing it, you just make sure everything is being used, so you don't have to worry about the same problem in the future. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same fitting line, and I'm concerned about this. So to take this off, you might have a channel lock, but I'm not using one. So what you're gonna have to do is just use something like that and clamp set. Okay. Hold our part together, which is this part right there. Okay. Clamp that, and then use your other one to unscrew that. And you're gonna hold it, and while you clamping with the right hand, hold it tight, don't let it move. With the left hand, you just unscrew that. Okay. I already loosen it up, so you work back this part, and then this is your part right there, just came out. Alright, and of course you're going to have water dripping in from the line. Alright, you can use something to catch the remaining water until you finish but in the meantime I'm just gonna let it drain so you let it drip for a minute and now it's finished dripping so you work your your lugs okay uh, whatever that is your your, your washer bag so you can have you can have space to realize if there's any corrosion or dirt in here and clean it up. Alright, so everything clean. Everything looks good. So now with the new one, what you wanna do with the new one? That's the old one that came out. Alright, it's not that bad, but we're just gonna go ahead and change it to the new one. So we wanna put some threaded tips. To prevent any leaks. That's why the tip is real big. Super big. You don't have to overdo it just a bit. Once or twice is good. Okay, after you use your hand to work um, the washer uh, back towards you, okay, so you use your seam tools.
trying to get my tools together. I use the same tools that you use to take it out, and you just tighten it up the opposite way. And prevent the other one, which is this thing from turning. Gotta hold it tight. Alright, so once you finish, uh, once you're sure that it's um, good as far as you're, you're tightening up, you're tightening up like real good, so you go ahead. Put your fitting in. Okay. Make sure it's straight. Don't over tighten it, just snug it up a little bit. Okay. And now go ahead and turn your water on. And make sure before you turn your water on, make sure everything is basically tight. Okay. You turn off your you turn off your water and make sure your valve can actually open in and out because you don't wanna do a job where after you done place everything and you think everything is good and your valve is not opening. There's something could be wrong with it or something you did. So always make sure that your valve are opening and close. Okay? So before you turn your water, you close your valve. All right. I mean, you can actually do it with the valve open, but I I like to do it with my valve closed. If there's anything in the mix, so it doesn't um, happen unexpected. Okay. And create more more work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water line on. Alright, so as you can see, we have no leaks. We turn the water on, you can hear the tank is filling up. So, no leaks. It's dry. Thank you.